Number 8. Waverly Hills Sanatorium, Louisville, Kentucky This former hospital is renowned as bring one of the most haunted places in the United States. Originally opening in 1910 as a tuberculosis hospital, it saw thousands of patients succumb to the disease. The sheer number of deaths and the suffering experienced within its walls have left a profound and eerie legacy, resulting in numerous reports of paranormal activity. The sanatorium's most infamous ghostly figure is the Creeper, a dark, shadowy entity that is often described as crawling along the floors, walls, and ceilings. Unlike typical ghost sightings, the Creeper is associated with a sense of malevolence and dread. Witnesses report feeling an overwhelming sense of fear and oppression when encountering this figure, which often moves in unnatural, spider-like motions. Its presence is typically accompanied by a sudden drop in temperature and an eerie silence that amplifies the terror it invokes. Another famous spirit is that of a nurse who committed suicide in room 502. According to legend, this nurse became pregnant out of wedlock and rather than face the stigma and loss, took her own life by hanging herself from the room's light fixture. Visitors and paranormal investigators frequently report her apparition in the window or feeling a strong presence in room 502. Some have heard her sobbing or felt an inexplicable sadness when near the room. The fourth floor is notorious for its high level of paranormal activity. Shadowy figures are often seen darting across the hallways and disembodied voices are a common occurrence. One of the most famous apparitions is that of a young boy named Timmy who haunts this floor. Timmy is often seen playing with a ball and visitors often bring toys to try to interact with his spirit. The sound of a ball bouncing and a child's laughter can sometimes be heard echoing through the halls. The body chute, also known as the death tunnel, is another area with a dark history and a high level of reported paranormal activity. This long sloping tunnel was used to transport the bodies of deceased patients out of the hospital to avoid demoralizing the other patients. Visitors often report the sounds of footsteps, voices, and even screams emanating from the tunnel. The oppressive atmosphere and the sense of despair that pervades the tunnel make it one of the most chilling parts of the sanatorium. Throughout Waverly Hills, visitors and investigators have captured numerous electronic voice phenomena, or EVP, recordings. These EVPs often include voices responding to questions, unexplained whispers, and even cries for help. The sanatorium's vast network of rooms and corridors seems to amplify these sounds, creating an environment where the past feels ever-present. In addition to specific apparitions and phenomena, there is a general sense of unease and tension that permeates Waverly Hills. Cold spots, sudden drafts, and the feeling of being watched are commonly reported by those who explore the sanatorium. Some visitors have experienced physical sensations such as being touched, pushed, or even scratched by unseen forces. Waverly Hills Sanatorium's reputation has made it a popular destination for ghost hunters and paranormal enthusiasts. The combination of its tragic history the sheer number of reported ghostly encounters and the eerie atmosphere of the abandoned hospital make it a compelling and chilling destination for those intrigued by the supernatural. Tours and overnight investigations offer a chance to experience the haunted halls firsthand, drawing visitors from around the world who hope to glimpse the spirits that still linger in this historic and haunted location.